Okay. Now on the desk here we have a Ham International Jumbo. This is the later version, known as the Mark II, which uses the Cybernet PTBM 121D4X chassis. Unlike the earlier model with the PTBM 059 COX board. Most people will know that one because it had very bassy audio on FM. This one uses the same board as the Concord 2, the later Multimode 2, and also many other radios like the Colt Excalibur, Marco Excalibur, Colt 1200DX, TriStar 747, and High Gain 5s, and many other radios as well. Now, what I'm going to show you is a very, very, very simple modification which involves swapping out one resistor which will greatly improve the SSB average PEP output. Now the simple reason that on these later models the audio on SSB was a bit low obviously leading to lower average PEP output on SSB was because where the audio amp is, where I'm pointing to now with a pen, that's the TA7205AP between there and over here where we have the double balance modulator for SSB you can just see it there AN612 there is a mic gain pot down there you can just see it next to the crystal but between there and the output of the audio amp there is a fixed 10k resistor which is just down there just to the left of that small capacitor the part number is R166, literally there, just in front of the chip to the left on the picture, near the edge of the board. Now on the earlier models, that resistor was a 5.6K, not a 10K. So it allowed a lot more audio through to the input of the double balance modulator, resulting in more drive and more average PEP output. All you have to do is change that resistor, R166 down there, to a 4.7 to 6.2k a 5.6k would be ideal you'll get a lot more audio through to the double balance modulator resulting in a lot higher average PEP output remember you still have the mic gain pot down there you can just see it under the pen which is 500 ohm and is used to adjust the audio level so you can still trim the audio level if it's too high nice easy mod very cheap, very simple, very effective.